Hi, everybody. Are you ready for something new? We're going to talk about a bid called a Jacoby transfer today. It's the other way that the responder to a one no Trump opening bidder can investigate the possibility of playing in a major suit. Now, if you remember, when Partner opened a no Trump, they promised 15 to 17 high card points. The way I teach it, no five card major and at least two cards in each suit, and usually not more than one doubleton, which is two cards in a suit, okay? So that'd be one of three distributions is considered a balanced hand, and that's four of one, four, three, and two, five, three, three, and two, and four, three, three, three. So that's kind of the expected distribution when partner opens a no trump. Now the very best thing in the world is to bid a Jacoby transfer, guess what? You don't have to have any points. You can have zero points. So for those of y'all that like to bid a lot, that's really good news. You're gonna be able to bid a lot when you start playing Jacoby transfers. <clears throat> so if we look at our little chart, y'all remember this one, right? If you see, when do we use a Jacoby transfer? when we have a five card major suit or longer and no four card major. And when we have a five card major, even if we have a four card major, if we have zero to seven points, our only choice is Jacoby transfer. Remember, we have to have at least eight points to bid statement. Now you might be thinking, zero, zero, my partner would kill me if I bid when I had zero points. What are you thinking? We all know that you have to have six points to respond. Well, that's true, except for the weak freak when partner opens a suit bid. But it's not true when partner opens a no trump because a Jacoby transfer will give you a way to uh, bid safely. You don't have to worry when you open, when you bid a Jacoby transfer. It was actually created for here in the States by a man named Oswald Jacoby, who is, I believe, one of the four aces back in the 60s or 70s playing in the World Championships. They did invent it overseas about the same time or maybe a little bit before then, but Oswald Jacoby was the one that brought it to the United States and kind of structured it for us, and we call it a Jacoby transfer. So let me just show you a hand. I'm going to put it up here on the screen and tell me what I want you to think about, and I'm going to give you a minute or two to think about it, is if your partner bid one no trump and you passed, how many tricks do you think opener would be able to win in your hand with cards in your hand? How many winners would he have if his contract was no trump and you held this hand? <clears throat> if you can think of a way to take a trick in that hand if partner opens no trump, I'd like you to write me about it. Because you do have that long spade suit, you have six of them, but you have no card in your hand in which you can win a trick. And look, your spades, I did that on purpose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So partner can't play a low spade from his hand to your hand. You got all the low ones, right? <clears throat> so the answer is, is if you left partner in one no trump because you have zero points, you said, oh no, I'm not gonna bid. No, 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 it's too weak. And partner played one no trump, they would take zero tricks in your hand if your contract was no trump. Zero. They'd have to try and take seven tricks out of their own hand. Now think about that. Four aces, that's 16 points, right? That's four tricks. He'd have to come up with three more. Or ace, king, ace, king, four tricks. He still has to come up with three more with no help from you. You probably have some really good partners that you play with, but that's tough really tough to try and take seven tricks when you have a hand like that. Now I want you to think about this. I'm going to hold the hand up again. Remember, 
when partner opened a no trump, they promised at least two cards in any suit, right? They can't have a singleton or void, okay? If you could make, if you as a responder could force a situation where spades were trumps, and you could do it safely where partner wasn't going to bid a whole bunch more or anything like that, how many tricks would your hand win if spades were trumps? Well, if partner has two spades and the opponents have three in one hand, two in the other, then after your three are gone, the two, the three, and the four, you'll win the five, the six, and the seven, right? So you'll take three tricks. Even if the spades don't break as well. Suppose the spades are four in one hand, two in the other. I mean, three in one, four in one hand, and one in the other. Wow, that would really be strange. And two in partner's hand. You have to play all four of those. You still win two tricks. That's a lot more than zero, in case you haven't been catching on here. Right? If if we play in no trump, I take zero tricks. If we play with spades as trumps, I'll take two or three. And heck, if I'm really lucky, maybe even four. Okay? <clears throat> Bidding with zero points is not... Uh, risky on these types of hands. It's the smart thing to do. The weaker your hand, the more cards you have in that major suit, the more important it is to get your partner out of no trump into a suit contract. <clears throat> on this hand, even if partner had two baby spades, the eight and the nine, you're still probably going to win at least three tricks. And you're still going to win whatever aces, kings, queens, partner has for their no trump bid, right? Okay. So, this is how it works. We take two of our natural bids away. These are fake bids, conventional bids, just like with statement where we used clubs to ask partner a question. This time, we're going to use diamonds or hearts to tell partner to do something. Okay? So the way it works is after that one no trump opener, two diamonds tells partner that you have at least five hearts and says partner bid two hearts. And two hearts, one no trump two hearts, tells partner I have at least five spades, bid two spades. Doesn't ask partner how many spades they have. It doesn't ask them do they want to play somewhere else. We're not interested in hearing about their minor suit. You're simply saying, partner, bid the suit I've asked you to bid. So what I tell my uh, students, I say, so embrace Nike. Just do it. Partner told you to do it. Just do it. Right? Channel. Channel. <clears throat> and then after partner, one no trump, two diamonds, two hearts, bids two hearts, you're going to be the next bidder. Responder is going to be the next bidder. And if you have this awful hand, what would have with the bidding have gone? It would have gone one no trump by your partner. You would have bid two hearts, telling them to bid two spades. And then you just pass the next time. Now, somebody asked me, well, you know, how does partner know to do that? You agree at the beginning, before you ever start playing, you sit down and you say, you know, do you play Jacoby transfers? And they go, oh, yes, I play them. They've been around since the early 60s, I guess, mid-60s. So, guys, I mean, almost everybody plays Stamen and Jacoby transfers. Not, not everybody, but almost everybody. So you sh should check, but it's pretty common that they're going to be there. And then there's a series of responses if you don't have the broke hand, you know, if you've got, you really do have some points, eight or more, you want to invite game. There's um, a way that you bid your second time to tell partner to further describe your hand. But if you have the really weak hand, the hand that's not interested in going any higher, then you simply say pass. So it would go one no trump. I would bid two diamonds, which would tell you to bid two hearts because you are an excellent partner and you can follow directions. You will bid two hearts. And if I say pass, it means, hey, 
I got some hearts, but I don't have any points. I opened a no trump. You bid two hearts. I'm going to bid two spades because I'm a good partner. You asked me to bid spades and I'm going to do it. And if you pass, it says, well, partner, you might not be happy being in two spades, but when you see my hand, you're going to be. I've got a lot of spades, at least five, and I don't have very many points. So tomorrow, we're going to talk about the second bids by Responder. How you can tell partner about the length of your suit and sometimes the strength of your hand as well. I want to, What I want you to think about is what you've already told partner. When you made the Jacoby transfer, you said, I have at least five cards in this suit. And your points are unknown. So on your second bid, the two things that you're going to want to tell them is how strong your hand is and how many cards you have in your suit. Is it just five or is it six or more? And we'll see how to do that tomorrow. See y'all on Friday.